Hey, what's going on you beautiful people? My name is Tadai. I hope you guys had a pretty awesome day today. My day's been pretty awesome so far. Anyway, since today is Tuesday and Tuesday is game day, what I wanted to do is break down the process of making 3D character models for video games. Now, as many of you guys know, that is my dream job to be a 3D character artist for video games. And when I was doing some research, I didn't really find one video that explained everything perfectly. So I thought I could do that for you guys. Now this video is just gonna explain the general step-by-step -step process because there's a million different ways to do everything so there's really no way to explain it all in one video. But that being said, there was no one specific video that went over the entire process and after doing some research, I found out a sort of method that everyone follows in one way or another and put it together for this video. Though I'm gonna be going over multiple different steps as to how you make these characters, it really does vary from studio to studio and from person to person. With that being said, all of these steps are something that they're gonna have to come across eventually, so let's dive right into them with the very first step of concept art. Usually before you start modeling anything, you're given either a photo Photoshop sketch, a real life drawing, or have some sort of reference image to go off of to know what you're supposed to be making. The concept art has some key components that aren't very detailed and some other ones that are greatly detailed. What this does is it really lets you know what you should be focusing on and then gives you some more freedom with some other things. Sometimes you're also not given any concept art at all and just sort of given a description and from there they sort of trust you to make your own thing and you'll have someone often coming in and letting you know what you should tweak, but basically you're usually starting off with some form of concept art that you're basing your mesh off of. That leads directly into our second step which is making a base mesh now this is done in Maya 3d max cinema 4d ZBrush this is basically where you just block out the basic shapes what this allows you to do is have a basic shape before you do any real detailing and just makes the whole process a lot more simple for you down the road once you have your basic block out done what you want to do is import that into another program such as ZBrush or Mudbox to do your high-res detailing and high-res sculpting now in this step this is where most of your time really goes into this is where you put all the details all the muscles all the little carvings every single little bit of detail and high-res imaging goes into the 3D sculpting. Average time for this can take anywhere from like five hours to a couple of days or maybe even a couple of weeks depending on what you're making and this is where like I said most of your time goes into. Once you're done your high-res sculpt the next step that you do need to complete is called typology. Topology or retopology is where you basically dramatically reduce the polygon count of what you've just made in your high-res sculpt as well as shape the polygons in a more organic matter. Now what the this allows you to do is not only does it make it run a lot faster in the game it makes it so that animating it makes it look a lot more lifelike it's not like there's any jagged points sticking it anywhere because it's a lot more organic of a shape there's a lot of programs you can do this in the most favored ones are topo gun 3d code zbrush and maya but like i said with a lot of this stuff there's many more programs that you can do it in and a lot of different ways that you can get this done once you have your retypology completed the next thing that you want to do and this is one of the last steps would be texturing there are many many different ways to texture one of them is actually just a paint right on top of your 3D model and you can do this in a few programs such as uh, 3D Coat, ZBrush, and Substance Painter. Now this isn't seen as much when it comes to games but when you're doing still images this is very popular and what you then do is just either take a screenshot if you're doing a still image or export the texture on top of that with the model. A much more common way of doing this is by using normal mapping and UVs though. So what this means is you unwrap your 3D model into several 2D sections, paint on those 2D sections, and then wrap it back up into a 3D model. Now the way that you can make this look extremely detailed and very clean is by actually taking something called a normal map off of your high-res sculpt. Now what this does is it takes all the details and all the little little features that are on your high-res model and it turns that into an image which you can then place onto your low-res model to give the illusion of high-res with less polygons. Like I mentioned as well you can also paint onto that using programs such as Photoshop or anything else that you want to use. Wrap it back up and then you have your high-res details on your low-res model. There are many programs to texture this way. Some of the the most common ones are 3D Coat, ZBrush, Photoshop, Substance Painter, pretty much anything that you can open up an image in and then export it out when there's color on top of it. But once that is done, all you really need to do is rig your model by putting a skeleton inside of it and uh, shipping it off to the animator. And that's pretty much it. That's the basic main concept as to how you make characters. Anyways, guys, hopefully you did learn something from this. Hopefully I was able to help you out quite a bit. If so, a like and a comment on this video would be absolutely amazing. But once again, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. My name's been Tie-Dye, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya!